Alright, I've almost got this one. These last couple are really messing up my brain here. Uh, yeah, they gotta be... What's weird is when I get it right, there's I see just a, as much blue as some of the fail states. So I don't really... It's like a big half coliseum that like got hit with a meteor or something. Uh, which one was that again? Velia. I wish I had been keeping track of this all along. I'll probably make a little guide unless someone already exists. So that people can figure out stuff. You know, if you get stuck on a single one. Ooh, what's this? Notices your fog. What's this? I guess it's actual clouds? Oh. Oh, so you can turn off the horrible, like, moving about sound if you just, well, stop moving about. I, uh, I just got so used to leaving that on, so I decided to turn that off for this last few things. So, we just need Jericho. Which I think was already giving me a headache, yeah. But, uh... Deceptively close, so move those M and M arches a bit. Ah, oh, come on. This first branch is pretty short, so like that. Yeah, it's pretty close. I never expected it to be the right one because I I was fiddled with that first, but then it seems to always need some minor adjustments. Oh crap! I had it. There we go. Ah, there we go! Alright, final monument, everybody! Um... Ooh! The walls of Jericho, I guess. Ah, pretty. Very nice fortress. Um... What are we gonna do here? Jericho. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and map out the rest of these. Just to be sure I have everything. So what is this? Oh! I guess that moves the sun around. Oh! Not just the sun, that's... Let's turn off all the other ones. Interesting. Alright. Now for the moment of truth, what does the big button- what does the big pink button do? Oh, I was expecting like an ending sequence. It's just crazy mick like lasers across the landscape. I was expecting something to happen. Yeah, I believe... I believe that is all of the things that we've gotten. This thing is complete. I don't seem to have any more of these. Um, wow. Okay. I guess I'll read all of these from the top then. Or maybe I'll make... Wait, what, is, what was that? What was that? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this? Percival Harrison Fawcett. 
I was in a quest for a place of wonders, which I knew was waiting for me somewhere. I wanted to become a greater man among pe my peers, who never stopped mocking my dream. Wait, we were Fawcett? I had to go beyond the known world in order to discover it. It took me to leave my previous life behind me, but I was finally able to lie my eyes upon the object of my obsessions. I was too foolish and illuminated to realize I was only searching for myself. We found ourselves, who was apparently Fawcett, who was a dick. But, but, so wait, hold on. I, I'm assuming that's only possible or like only visible because of this. Yeah. Does anything else matter? Oh. Let's look around here. Wait, let me save my coordinates here. Just in case I need to see this again. Ah, uh, let's save this as... Faucet, yes. Faucet. Does this go to the location? Oh, yes it does! That is actually really cool. So it saves everything's position. Um, that is really useful. Okay, I'm gonna... I wonder if there's any other stuff to see. Uh, that's, that seems like very much the end, so I kind of doubt it. But I guess let's have a read of... Oh, that's pretty. Um... Let's have a read of all of the things. I've discovered something far more amazing than I ever expected to find in this jungle. It's a path to a new place, somewhere beyond the known land. Let's turn this off so we... Just to get to enjoy that music. Even though it was buried under ancient ruins, I'm pretty sure nobody went there for a long time. I... Percival Harrison Fawcett. I'm about to go through the gate. Are these three different people? I don't realize we were Fawcett. Despite my request, my son and his friend have decided to follow me to the other side. The trip took longer than expected. Oh, they are different people then. The trip took longer than expected, as the exit seemed to have moved f further and further away from me walking through the tunnel. Paths finally opened to a landscape whose sights hit us with all their splendor. Extraordinary mountains, as far as our eyes can see, diving into rough seas and rising above rumbling clouds. I can easily imagine it being the work of a divine sculptor, working with stone and air at a gargantuan scale. The light shining to the land seemed to change as we walked, painting the peaks and valleys with indescribable colors. Yeah, it sounds familiar. We finally managed to decide to set up camp as we were watching and indicating our watches were indicating it was night. With, I'm obsessed with the idea of being the first man to map this world. I can't fall asleep. Ah, uh, delicious banana. Did we not see a banana? I don't think we looked at banana. These colors don't seem familiar. Or is it maybe just the clouds? Which is the cloud button? Oh no, I, I don't know if we saw that. I decided to wander around our camp to see in which direction we should be going next. I noticed something strange. While I was laying on the ground, the topography of the land far away around the camp changed. A mountain in the distance was about ten miles further west, and the lake at the base had completely disappeared. Mapping these lands will take me a very long time. I had never drawn shifting topographies before. Over the last few days, I've been walking at a good pace, only stopping on top of hills to mark down the reliefs. I've organized our progress in large, circular paths. So that when I take note so that I can take note of changes in topography over time. The new drawings don't match my predictions. Some of my previous maps are missing. I know that Rimmel is behind it. I left the camp to continue my work alone. I don't have time to lose, and I don't need anyone's help. I've run out of blank maps to fill. I'll continue my work carving the maps onto the rocks of the mountains. I came across some incredible structures. I, I took a moment to build my own wonders. I've crossed my own shadow many times. A hundred years have passed since yesterday. I know these lands by heart, but they keep surprising me. The cartography of this world will be the work of my life. So that was Fawcett, 
Who is this? After exhaust hours of exhausting efforts, we finally managed to clear the way under the temple. Although we couldn't see anything in the tunnel, Fawcett seemed very enthusiastic about what was awaiting us. That's the Fawcett thing's making more sense now. The horses refused to move any further. Oops. We had to pack as much equipment and supplies as we could into our bags. The land we've just entered is fabulous, yet I can't help but worry about its nature. We should keep this expedition short. We should only take time to scout the surroundings. And only take time to scout the surroundings before we return with additional people. Fossil looks like he knows what he's doing, but Jack seems a bit worried. I hope we won't get lost. Something strange about this place. The landscapes around us look alive, animated by their own will. The faucet still takes a lot of time to draw. Jack has too much respect for his father to question his actions. We've been out here for too long. We will soon be all out of food and water, and there are no consumable resources around these places. When I presented the facts to Fawcett, he went into a violent rage. He's paranoid. We almost came to blows. Fawcett ran away while we were asleep. Jack didn't even ask for my help, and has disappeared into the storm to find his father. I have to go. I have to escape. I'll head towards the exit. I've been following them. By following the map I've been drawing ever since Fawcett started acting weird. Oh, you're doomed, my friend. Couldn't find the path where we came from. I suspect it's moved with the mountains. I'm lost and running out of water. I haven't drunk nor slept in weeks. How the hell am I not dead yet? Strange end to that one. Not 100% sure I found absolutely everything, but I did find all of these. Father was hesitating, but Raleigh and I. Okay, so Raleigh is this one, and this is Jack. That's Fawcett. But I insisted. Uh, Father was hesitating, but Raleigh and I insisted and convinced him to let us accompany him on his journey. The three of us were amazed at the sight of the landscape that appeared on the other side of the tunnel. I'm starting to mark down lands landmarks like Father taught me. During our breaks, I studied the mineral debris cluttered along our way. How can such a place even exist? We went deeper and deeper into the cave, yet we are now standing under a stormy sky. We spent a few days studying the surroundings. It's often difficult to make out the difference between seas and mountains. I'm starting to feel like we're going in circles, yet I do not recognize any of the places we're crossing. I will trust Father. Riley is getting more and more worried. He's convinced that the mountains are moving. There's a violent quarrel between Father and Riley. We're all on edge. We woke up this morning. Father was missing. He can't have gone far, so I've decided to find him. I thought I had seen a shadow in the distance. I followed it for hours before it disappeared. I'm completely lost. I made an amazing discovery. With this, I'll be able to create the tools to guide me in this world and find Father. The machine is complete. I don't fully understand it, but there are parts I don't even remember that I've built. I've realized only too late that this machine does not just observe the world, but that it also seems to transform it. I've only made things worse. I'm going to leave this uncontrollable machine behind me. I saw giant carvings in the mountains, places from other times, infinite railways, and skeletal shadows wandering aimlessly. I've tried to end my life in many ways, but it seems this world doesn't want me to leave. Am I trapped here forever? I kind of wonder if we can find- if we've, we found Fawcett. I'm wondering- is that just Fawcett again? I'm wondering if we can find the other two. Percival Harrison Fawcett. Fawcett. Wait, is he moving? Oh my god, he's still alive. He's still alive and wandering around. Oh, that is... That is very sad and creepy. Um, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Here we go! Jack Fawcett. I've lived in the shadow of greater men through my whole entire life. A life dedicated to following the dreams of others. Walking in the footsteps of my father. I tended to approach his genius, but never truly reached it. I have to prove myself to go up in the esteem of my elders. 
I wasn't the great explorer who discovered a new world, but the tools I've built offered me a hold over space, time, and all matter, allowing Meme <laughs> to ascend as a god. A little typo there. Realizing that there was no one left to impress, I abandoned the terrifying machine, myself with it. Well, it seems we're the one who found the machine. That's so sad. I bet they never meet. Your daddy's just up here. So. Oh! There's, uh, Relay. Extravagant people have always worried me. Poets, dreamers, and drinkers should keep their thoughts outside the regular world, but the lands beyond here were their place of choice. I witnessed how the obsessions of my peers made them lose their senses and lead them to madness. They were no more passionate animals, and I was the only source of reason. In the end, I really was the most obsessed, struggling to keep composure in front of a singular world, fighting to conserve a save humanity, sane humanity, a place where no human or sanity belonged. Oh, they're gonna find each other. Come on, guys, you can do it! You can do it, my friends! You gotta meet up. Now don't turn. Don't turn too far, buddy. No! No! Get, get your dumb ass back there! Ah, they never meet up, do they? So, that's probably all there is, right? Well, that was Moo Cartographer. That was really interesting. This is exactly my kind of thing. I'm, I guess there's no point in saving. Well, there's Jericho. Yeah, there's kind of a like, wondrous glow sound while you're over the uh, thingy. Yeah, that was really interesting. That was a really cool way to structure a narrative, and I truly love that the puzzle is figuring out the game itself. Uh, that was just really cool. Oh, they're so close to each other! You doofuses! I could strangle them. Oh, well. I, I wonder. Um, Alright, so they do move, and my save point for faucet does not matter at all. Okay. Oh, they were right over here. But yeah, so it seems like there's only those three. But yeah, that was that was really cool. Um anybody listening to this video probably does not need said guide, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put together a quick little guide for how to play this thing. It, I've Obviously, playing it yourself is the real experience, but just in case anybody gets super stuck, because, you know, sometimes you don't want to figure out things. Sometimes it's just too much of a headache. Um, wow. Yeah, that was, that was very cool. That was, I want more, like, crazy stuff like this. I really liked the beta that, that I played, and yet at the same time, I had no idea all of this was in there. That's, that's something else. Alright, hold up. I did notice one more thing. I don't need that. I still don't know what this thing does. It seems to be cosmetic only. Like, just if you want, you know, a little black background there. There you go. Um, anyway. Turn out that because it's distracting. Um. Oh, yes. It's in here. I found when we found the three people, we found the origin, so I don't know what this does. <gasps> oh, here we go! Lieutenant Colonel Percival Harrison Fawcett, British artillery officer, archaeologist, and South American explorer. Born on August 18th, 1867. Disappeared in 1925 with his son Jack Fawcett and a friend of his named Riley Rimmel. During their expedition through the uncharted jungles of Brazil, in quest of the lost city of Z. Oh, so it's based on a true story thing then. Oh, that is really cool. Okay, I can't believe I almost forgot. I only noticed this when I went to leave the game. I had completely forgotten about that. I had no idea what this was. Like, I I didn't know if, like, maybe they published it on Origin and that was, like, an Origin link thing. This doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you'd find on Origin. Does Origin do indie games? I don't know. I've never... 
willingly used Origin. Um, last time I opened it up was... When was it? Um, probably Dead Space 3. Which uh, didn't exactly make me happy to have used Origin. Anyway, that was Moo Cartographer, and like, like I said, that was that was really cool. 